You know, I like to look a little different majority of the time. I like the Mustang to stand out amongst the other ones. So I figured this mod might be suitable for my car because it has the more European look I'm kind of going with. She is looking clean as ever. But we got some mods today that are gonna make her stand out just a little bit more. Got the 777 style front end on the front. Changes it up. The hood is definitely gotta go. The hood, it looks super, super nice right now. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, it, it flows perfect with the car. But I'm trying to go with my own style with this car. I'm trying to make it be like a one of one looking Mustang. I don't want anyone else's car to look like mine. I want this car when I roll up to an event, roll up to anywhere, any meet, anywhere in the country. I want everyone to know like that is Jake's car. Like that shit is sick. So got something a little different today. I don't know if this is more on the ricer side or this is cool. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about it, how you feel. But I just ordered them from eBay. They just came in. One of my buddies in Florida actually had them. And I saw them for the first time at Mustang Week. I seen them in pictures. And I just feel like they look so much better in person. I haven't put them on the car yet, obviously. They're for the mirrors. It gives it that more European look. They kind of copied off the BMW M4. But I think it looks sick on the S550s. Let me show you guys. So I unwrapped them. They're carbon fiber. They say, I don't know if it's real carbon or fake carbon but they're super light feel sturdy and they actually look pretty sick let me grab the pasture side hopefully you'll stay on there while I just stick it on okay the fitment is pretty solid it's kind of hard to tell from afar we're gonna get the car out in the light in a bit after I stick them on so they like seat down but it looks pretty cool. Honestly, it looks like it's meant to be there just the way the air travels and flows right through there. So it looks fire. I'm going to get the 3M adhesive one now. Show you guys how pretty much to do that and the best way to do that after I figure out over time. Because sometimes I had problems with all the shit sticking, but this way is honestly perfect. I like to use hand sanitizer just because it's not as harsh on some of the materials and the paint just in case I get on the car. But take a little bit of alcohol, put it on a paper towel. Put that paper towel on your mirror, wipe everything, everywhere where that 3M is gonna lay, put a little bit on, wipe it all the way around. You don't wanna go too crazy as much as you put on there. Um, Cause honestly, I have no clue what it's gonna do to this actual 3M that the wrap is on here, but I really don't care about it at this point. It's whatever, it's gonna be covered up. And if anything, if I gotta get it fixed or redone, it's, it's gonna be cheap. It's only a mirror cap, it's nothing crazy. So it's whatever. Probably would have been better if it was actually on the paint to stick, but you know, we're gonna send it today and we're gonna see what happens. Maybe do a little high speed run, make sure they don't fly off. Um, Cause you know, we got Pocono coming up on the third, next month on the third. So that is gonna be crazy. Gotta get a hotel for that. Go all the way, it's like about three, almost four hours from my house. So we're gonna leave probably Saturday and get there, chill, and then get, be at the track first thing Sunday morning. Wait till you guys see the helmet I got coming. Full carbon fiber, it's actually sick as hell. Um, I don't know, um, there's like certain rules and stuff where you need the helmet to be certified um, for certain events. So I just went ahead, got like a fully certified helmet. Freaking thing was not cheap, honestly. They have helmets on there for like 250 bucks, 300 bucks, and I don't know why they're not certified, but is what it is. Just got all the 3M adhesive laid, just peeled all this red stuff off, which was actually a pain. But after you do that, what most people don't tend to do is heat it up. So I usually get my heat gun, put it on low, and just give everything like a nice warming up. It'll make the 3M adhesive, like all this 3M stuff, it'll make it super, super sticky. So once you go to lay it on, for a fact it's not coming off it is heated up to the fullest right now you'll actually start to smell it burn just a little bit i should have pried the mirror cap open just a little bit just so it wouldn't grab and it grabbed right away and i messed up some of the glue so i had to redo it but that's no big deal that just goes to show like how like good it's on there because like now she is not going to budge. I can promise you that. Like, it is on there, on there. And you can feel it's still a little warm. So once it cools down, it's actually going to, like, grab onto the actual 3M. So it's on there for now. We're going to see how good she holds up. But that's one side done. Let's knock out the next. Little comparison. Pasture side and driver side. I mean, they both look good. But, you know, got to be different, guys. So we got both sides on. They look freaking great actually way better than i thought on the car 
It's kind of hard to see from right here, but we're gonna go for a drive, start it up, go to Wawa, actually get some drinks. Steve might be meeting us there. Good Lord. I really wanna change my exhaust setup. I'm kind of getting tired of it. Stock muffler's gotta go. I'm gonna definitely change to a different X pipe. I'm thinking Corsa. I kind of want to get it to be extremely loud and obnoxious, to piss off a lot of Karens. Drop a comment, let me know. I'm kind of getting sick of it. I, I like it, it sounds good. Like, don't get me wrong. The tone is perfect. I just, I don't know. I feel like I need it to be a little louder. When I'm driving, it's like, it's okay, but I like my car to be a little louder. Like this, Fox body, perfect. Money, don't want to change it. This, a little bit louder. Sounds good from the outside, but I want it to have like more of a thump just when it's like idling. It's idling high right now just because it's cold, but once it mellows out and the, all the valves are open, it's, it's honestly super quiet. So drop a comment, let me know what you guys want to see. I kind of want to do like a cool combo no one's ever done. I've never seen the Seed X pipe with the headers and stuff and the stock mufflers. So drop another comment, let me know. I'm always curious to do a cool uh, exhaust setup. I was even thinking dumps, like straight off in the middle of the car, save some weight. We'll save a little bit of weight by dropping the mufflers off. But I really didn't want it to throw the light for the active, so that was the only thing I was trying to miss. So maybe if we could do straight up dumps in the middle and get rid of the mufflers, we'll make a custom uh, rear diffuser for this car, like, you know, cut some weight, even help it on the big end with this car, so we'll see. So we're gonna run to Wawa real quick, like I said. Um, Steve might be meeting us there. I haven't told Steve what I was gonna do with the mirrors, so we're gonna get his reaction, see what he thinks. Cause Steve is kind of a, less is more type of guy so i don't think he's gonna like them but we shall see at wawa and look who just pulled up freaking wild steve himself hey buddy hey, hey that's a nice shirt dude all right thank you fits nice Appreciate it. Yeah, bring is that italian out. made it is you know made by a bunch of little Versace, whatever his name is made it himself made by a bunch of little baby italian babies made that we have to show you something what you got i don't know if it's rice or or nice i don't know just get out of the car and look at it and door dig me too while you're at it <laughs> slam it what you got oh god you did it i did it dude that looks like absolute dog shit i'm not even gonna lie BRB, let me go cut. Does it doesn't look good. Less is more. Yep, told you guys. Less is more. <laughs> it doesn't look Fuck good. Fuck you, Steve. Look at this. Two things. Number one, you covered your turn signals. Fuck the turn signal. We don't use turn signals well, anyway. I know that, but it doesn't even fit all the way on and it looks fake. I'm pretty much a BMW owner. I don't use turn signals. I put the euros in just for looks. We don't use them. Every time I put on my turn signal, them motherfuckers speed up and they won't let me over so I don't even bother using them anymore. So shout see, out to- See you buddy. All right, I, bye. I can't, I can't mess with BMW owners. Look at this. Is that just a normal mirror? Yeah. Does yeah. it function? No. <laughs> Where's your turn signal? Shut up. Peasant life. <laughs> I got fingerprints on my car. Oh Jesus. It's ruined. It Sell really it. Is, Look at the blue. It is popping today. Yeah, now it actually looks blue today with the sun. It looks fantastic. When it's overcast, she looks black. One year color too, Steve got lucky. Oh snap. Oh, Good timing. there's a Hellcat. BRB. <laughs> some business to take care of real quick. Good thing we won the Sticky Mickey. We going to look at that car or what? You ain't gapping no Hellcat. You are not lying. Dude, I had some freaking guy in a uh, 392 Challenger pull up alongside me yesterday. He tried to race you? Yeah, yeah, he was like, mm. Why does everyone try to race you? No one pull, I ride around for hours, no one will pull up on me. I know, I'm just trying to cruise this guy. Everyone tries <laughs> everyone to Everyone bullies me. Steve, they're like, oh, let's fuck with this dude. Yeah, I know. They think I'm wild on the streets. No, I'm wild with my twisted tees. Yeah, he's a wild alcoholic. <laughs> All right, but anyway, so there's a Ford dealer right there. There's another Gen 3 I was looking at, and hear me out. That was the whole reason I really didn't want to go GT500 because I could afford two Gen 3s instead of one GT500. Which makes more sense. That's one way to do it. Double the content. And we have the all motor car. Double the race cars. Double the race cars. Um, my bank account will shed one tier at night well, as it goes to I mean, bed. All we're missing is the red to go with the white and the blue, so we gotta get American up in here. Yeah, that's about that's what we gotta Italian, do. Italian, but we're Americans. Oh, American through and through, baby. We're gonna ride up to that four dealer. There's a red Gen 3 there. It's used, has like 7,000 miles on it. 2020, same year as this, and the only option it has is a 10 speed. It's clean car. We looked it up, we searched the VIN. It, it's, it's on the money. 
but it just all depends. I don't know, I'm not trying to spend too much. I know the car market's kind of high, but we're gonna see. Let's go right up there right now. Let's go look at it. 2020 life, you peasant. <laughs> Gang. Yeah, you got a 2021, screw you. I'm gonna key your car, dude. Bring it on, dude. <laughs> Yee, she's quiet. Is that even running? Oh, it's running. You sure about that? 40 roll. I'm gonna get gapped. That sounds like an eBay exhaust. Thank you. Borla. I appreciate it. Borla, sponsor me. The Civic needs a new pair of pipes. Honestly, if Borla made Civic exhaust, we would be doing it. That'd be, that'd be hilarious. I'd break out the saw. Excuse me. I left my car inside. Does anyone have the keys? This could be us, red, white, and blue. I'm gonna call and leave a bad review because they kind of messed up that color combo. Oh, yeah, I know that. But... So here she is, 2020 GT. The only option this car has is a freaking 10 speed. You guys, try to give a better look. This is base. This is the base as it gets. No big screen, cloth, everything. She's stripped. Even got the ugly wheels on it, chrome emblems. But you know, I kind of feel like it's always the stripped out ones that run the hardest. They come a little more pissed off for there's a hot tune in them. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It's still up in there, guys. Drop a comment. If we're going to build something, this will be the one to build stripped out as can be so i don't feel bad for ripping the seats out because this car is going to get gutted to the max we'll have a cage in it most likely we'll be getting a fat 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 supercharger on it the only thing that's bothering me is just the front tag i just hate having holes in the bumper <clears throat> god Old Bondo, never hurt nobody i'm triggered but yeah this is pretty much it this is what i wanted to show you all drop a comment let me know because I feel like if I'm gonna go crazy with the car, that one's already perfect, all motor. It runs great, no problems with it. I can run the shit out and have fun with it. But this car, on the other hand, we can make it stupid fast and build it, take our time, rip it apart, try to do as much as I can myself that I know how to do. And to the other extent, this is just another car for the channel. And plus, having two cars would still be way cheaper than owning one GT500, just so y'all know that. Finally made it back home, mirror cap stayed on in one piece. Thank God. But you know what's actually kind of crazy? So I don't know about you guys, but when I drive, I always stick my hand like kind of out the window and like, I don't know, play with the air that comes right here. Like, I don't know, just avatar airbender it. But I must say, there was a lot more air coming through right here just cause, just cause of this. And it was like kind of like getting it pushed towards the window and it was like coming in the cab and I just felt like another AC unit just kicked on and was blowing it right in my face, which was absolutely perfect. So highly recommend if you guys want to get them, link will be in the description. If you buy them, put them on your car, tag me, I'll repost it cause they actually do look sick and we'll start a trend of everyone throwing them on the car because not many people have them and I think they look freaking perfect. That is going to be a wrap for today's video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Drop a like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you guys come to Pocono Raceway on the 3rd. We're going to be there first thing in the morning getting the car teched in. Um, that should be an absolute blast. Hopefully run the car. I have no clue what it's going to run in a half mile, but we're going to see. After that, I have another dig racing event planned. Maybe a cash days. I don't know. Just everything's so up in the air with all these events. A lot of people back out, then they join. So it's kind of like one big mess. But anyway, after that, we have a lot of lightweight mods planned for the car. Still gonna make the drivability absolutely fine. Nothing's gonna change with that. I wanna retain drivability. That is my number one thing with this car. Keep the car running like it's stock. To an extent, some things are gonna give and take uh, comfortability a little bit, but still wanna make the car not a complete race car feel, so it's like rickety and shit like that. But anyway, until the next one, peace.